Virtually every BI semantic model will bring in multiple tables and relate them together. That gives us the slice and dice concept that we're really looking for in most of these models. In previous lessons we've used tables that were related to each other but we didn't really talk specifically about it. So let's uh, just take a few minutes and talk about relating tables. So we're going to do that by first bringing a new table into our model. And the way I do that is going to the model menu within SQL Server Data Tools. And um, normally you might think I would just say import from data source. Um, in this case I'm not going to use this menu option because that will create a new connection to a database. In fact I have a connection to this database already so I can click existing connections which is what I definitely want to do. Um, I would not want to create a new data connection to the same database over and over for every table. I, I want to consolidate those as much as I can. So I'll just highlight my existing connection, click the open button, and again I'll just grab the table. I could write a query but I'm just going to uh, to use the table selection and the product table is the one I want. I'm going to give it a more friendly name and we'll call that just product. And then I'll click finish. And as I do that the designer will pull in the data from the table and add it to my workspace. So now I have that table is added. And I might think that I'm finished, um, but I'm not quite, and let me show you why. Let's go and browse this model using Excel and see how we're doing. So in Excel I have my sales measure, so I'll just click that. And as I go down to the product dimension, I'll click the brand name. And look what happened. The grand total is repeated on every single row. And that's a, a really quick clue for me that I don't actually have the relationship set up between these tables. So the model doesn't know how to slice by the uh, brand. So the way I'm going to repair that is to go back and create that relationship. So if I click on the table menu and to manage relationships I can see that sure enough there's there's really nothing here that relates that table. So it exists in the model but there's no relationship that allows any kind of slicing to occur. So I'll create that. It's very easy. Just click create and choose the table that is kind of the, the mini table. I'll choose first and the sales table has a product key and the related table is the product table which also has a product key. Now what you won't see here is the ability to choose two columns or more from the two tables. So within the tabular data model we can only relate tables by a single column key. So if we did have two columns like for example maybe we had company plus product or brand plus product key uh, you know two keys um, we would have to first in the data in the data tables themselves create a derived column with those two keys con concatenated together and then relate them that way so it's a little workaround we'd have to do in this case we don't have to worry about it because we do have uh, single key joins so I've selected the, the 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 two tables and the key that joins them I'll click the create button and what that will do is add a new relationship and I can check to make sure that that relationship is working by going back to Excel and I'll just click the refresh all button and I can see that now my numbers are being sliced properly so my relationship is in place and everything's working now just the way it should.